right there YouTube welcome back to the channel now in a recent video I did I got a lot of questions about my big torque wrench probably partly because it's a big tool now if you're gonna do your own truck repairs this is really a tool that you really should have in your toolbox now this one here is a nice torque wrench it's a good balance between quality and price it's made in the United States and it is made by Precision Instruments. You can see the part number there. Now I will have a link in the description below to this torque wrench and this torque wrench set here. Uh, it will be an Amazon link and if you were to purchase this or any other items through that link, the channel earns a small commission which helps go towards future videos. So last weekend I'd had these this steer tire off and I wanted to go ahead and just retorque this here real quick. Now Here's something about retorquing lug nuts. Generally, as long as you make sure that your mating surfaces are clean, the lug nuts will never move when you retorque them. The biggest issue with what happens is if you get a little bit of dirt or some kind of foreign material on the mating surfaces, and then when you bolt that up, after so many miles, that dirt or whatever is either gonna embed itself into the aluminum or it's gonna get ground up into a powder and then the stretch that's on your lug bolts goes away and now your lug nuts are loose. However, lug nuts don't loosen up on their own. It takes a foreign material to be between the mounting surfaces in order for these torques to change. So generally, as long as you make sure that the surfaces are clean when you retorque the lug nuts, nothing ever moves. I got a number of questions about what the torque is on these lug nuts. Now you'll notice a lot of times in my videos I don't give torque specifications and that's because there can be several repairs that are very similar between different truck manufacturers or different types of trucks where the process is very similar but things could be different like torque specs or other things like that so I prefer that people look up the torque specs for themselves that's why I don't generally give torque specs however on a 22 or 24 5 hub pilot wheel Generally, your torque spec will be between 450 and 500 foot-pounds of torque. So that's what we're going to torque these two here today. Now there's a few kind of cool things about this torque wrench that you don't normally see in a torque wrench. For one thing, besides just having this big ratcheting head on here, if you push this pin in, you can actually separate the torque mechanism you should have taken it apart here so you take that apart now you've got your ratchet head now you've got a one inch drive breaker bar so I should be able to loosen the lug nut with the breaker bar See, I just loosen that up. Go ahead and pull this off. Now our torque wrench is back on here. And we can go ahead and retorque that lug nut. Here at click, it's torqued. So this tool, it actually makes something really nice because it can break down, and it's a breaker bar as well as a torque wrench. You could break this down and actually carry it in your truck with you if you so desired, and be able to remove and reinstall and torque your lug nuts. However, I'm not too crazy about bouncing a precision torque wrench around inside of my truck. So I don't carry this with me on the road, but this would be a good tool to carry. So I'm gonna go ahead, and just check the torque on all these.
and that's all there is to it. Now you notice, except for the one that I loosened up, none of the lug nuts moved at all, which means that I had the surfaces properly cleaned. Now a couple of things that I don't like about this torque wrench is the, the ratchet mechanism is pretty clunky. I'd like a nicer feeling ratchet. Also, this pin right here is too small to press in with your finger. So you have to use a punch or some other kind of tool when you break this down to get this apart. You really can't get your finger in there. And then the third thing that I'm not too fond of about this tool is it does come with a nice blow molded case and the entire torque wrench assembly fits in it. However, there is no spot in the blow molded case for the included breaker bar attachment. So the torque wrench will all break down and fit into this case and then there's nowhere to put this breaker bar. I really wish that they would have designed this case to accommodate the breaker bar attachment, but that's a, uh, that's a pretty minor thing, I guess. And overall, I'm really happy with it. I think it's a really good torque wrench for the price. And again, that's the manufacturer and the part number. And there will be a link in the description below for anybody that's interested in this tool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a great day.